Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, a cylindrical conductor of length L and cross section area A is connected to a DC source under the influence of electric field set up due to the source the free electrons begins to drift in the opposite direction of the electric field part 1 draw the graph showing the dependency of drift velocity on relaxation time and part 2 if the dc source is replaced by a source whose current changes with in magnitude with time such that i equals to i naught sin 2 pi nu t where nu is the frequency of variation of current then determine the average drift velocity of the free electrons over the complete cycle, over one complete cycle. So the problem is based on the topic uh, current electricity and in particular the relationship between the drift velocity and the relaxation time. In the first case, the applied signal is the DC signal and in the second case, the applied signal is the AC signal. So we have to analyze the problem completely. Now if we analyze the situation, analyze the particular problem, uh, we can easily see that there is a conductor and this conductor is driven by a DC source. In the first case, in the first case, a DC source is applied. So we have to draw the graph between the drift velocity and the relaxation time. So if we go to the formula, we go to the formula Vd equals to minus small e capital E upon small m time tau. This is the particular relation that relates the drift velocity with the relaxation time. This is the relaxation time, this is the drift velocity. If we straight away use this particular relationship and uh, assume this particular thing to be a constant, then we can easily see that Vd is directly proportional to tau. But here is our mistake that this E is also there. The presence of E is also there. So there may be a mistake that if we assume this particular E to be a constant, then this whole term, this whole term acts as a constant. If we take it as a constant, then by mistake, we can draw the graph between Vd and tau as a straight line, as a straight line passing through the origin because this is the particular expression, this is the y axis, y, this is m and this is x, y equals to mx. This is the general equation of the straight line passing through the origin. So this is the particular curve which we can draw. Uh, if we take the consideration of the negative sign also, then some of the student, they may draw the curve like this. Because when the slope is negative, the curve is like this and when the slope is positive, the curve is like this. So we can uh, draw this curve but this is the mistake here because the drift velocity does not only depend upon this relaxation time, it is also depending upon this E, this particular electric field. So the situation is complicated. So we take uh, the analysis of this particular situation. The analysis is there are ions. There are ions and in between ions, the electrons move and the electron they collide between two successive ions. If we increase the temperature, then their vibration increases. Uh, suppose the relaxation time is increasing. The situation is relaxation time is increasing. The relaxation time is the time between the two successive collision between this particular ion and suppose this particular ion. So the time taken by the electron to go from here to here for uh, starting from the zero initial speed to the final certain speed, it collides here. So the relaxation time, if the relaxation time is more, it means that the speed is less. If the charge is going from here to here and it takes more time. So the obvious reason is the velocity is less. So we can analyze here that if we consider only the relationship between Vd and tau, then it is a kind of inverse relation because when the relaxation time is increasing, it means that the velocity, drift velocity is less. So it is only possible when there is inverse relationship between the drift velocity and the relaxation time. And uh, suppose if the relaxation time is uh, less, it means that the drift velocity is large. 
So this is the inverse kind of a relationship. Now this particular relationship and we have to draw the graph between VD and tau. VD is the y axis and the tau that is the relaxation time is the x axis. So we can say that uh, VD from this relationship we can say that VD into tau is a constant. VD into tau is a constant. And Vd into tau is a constant means y x is equal to a constant. This is a such kind of relationship that y and x y axis and x axis the product is a constant. So in this particular situation we get a hyperbola. This is the general equation of our hyperbola y into x is equal to a constant. So we get the curve as a hyperbola. So if we have to draw the curve between Vd and tau the curve look like this. This is the hyperbola because Vd is inversely related to the relaxation time. So this is the explanation of the first part of this problem. Now the second part states that uh, we apply the AC signal. In the second part, in the second part AC signal is applied. For AC we know that uh, there is a certain positive cycle and certain negative cycle. So the average drift velocity is basically average drift velocity is basically 0. So we can say that for this particular case the average VD average VD is 0 because for one cycle it is going positive direction current is going in positive direction and for another half cycle it is going into the negative direction. So in a complete uh, so we can say that in a particular unique direction there is 0 drift of the charge carriers. So the answer for this particular part is the 0 drift average velocity. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you.